Hi guys! Today I'm going to give you 25 tips for a gunner in Deep Rock Galactic. If you want small tidbits of information that will help you out, this is the video for you. Number 1. All three of your primaries and two of your secondaries can destroy terrain. Use this for health crystals or for ores that are too hard to reach. Number 2. If you fire your primary, you run the risk of not being able to keep most of your mobility. However, if you jump and then fire, you can keep your momentum, allowing you to go way faster. Number 3. Remember to use your shield. It's a get out of jail free card for so many situations. It can help you revive fellow dwarves, you can use it on resupplies, or you can just use it in a panic. It's one of Gunner's best tools. Remember to use it. Number four. Also remember that your shield does have weaknesses. Things like shell backs can get inside, and the cooldown can become an issue on higher hazards. Be smart with its usage, and don't randomly spam it. Number five. Your zip lines are very useful on point extraction. They're very good at transporting a quarks. Number six. You can cancel all fall damage on a zip line by holding E nearby it. You can also do this on the pipes in refinery missions. Number 7. The zip line ammo count is actually wrong in the equipment terminal. It says it has 3 in the total ammo, when in reality you have 4 by default. Number 8. You are completely untouchable by any melee attacker. Use this to gain a safe place to fire at enemies from. Number 9. However, be extremely careful of projectiles. Things like acid spitters will target you more often, and when they hit you, they have a chance to knock you off, potentially causing you to fall down to your doom. Number 10. This tip is from Spooky Tooth. The lead burster grenade sucks and you shouldn't use it. Hey, did you know that only 2.4% Fine, we'll get back to the video anyways. If you can't get any health while using Iron Will, throw down a shield so that anyone can revive you while you're down, or revive someone, throw down a shield, get downed, and then the person revived can then revive you, getting back two total team members. Number 12. Your zip lines are really good on elimination missions since you can set up god spots and be untouchable by any dreadnought melee attack. Just don't get hit by any ranged attacks and you'll be fine. Number 13. Your armor is resistant to explosions. This can allow you to take a few more hits from exploders, but I'm pretty sure it will not help you at all against the bulk detonators. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. Number 14. Your minigun gains accuracy the more it fires. This makes it really inaccurate for firing single shots. In short, don't use your minigun to fire single shots. This tip mainly exists because I used to do it as a green beard, and I don't want anyone else to do that because they're dumb and stupid like me. If you do do this, I lied, you're not dumb and stupid, but uh, yeah. Number 15. Remember that your coil gun can go through walls. If there's an enemy that ran behind a wall that you desperately need to take out, you can fire through the wall and kill it. If there's a ranged enemy ruining your day, like a spitball infector, hide behind terrain and shoot it from there. 16. You can actually stun lock enemies with your BERT with the burst stun modification. You could like... I don't, I don't freaking know, like, I don't f use this on, like, a pr oppressor or Praetorian or whatever. Slow it down and then pickaxe it and then use your Burt and then s stun it and then kill him or something like that. Yeah. Incendiary grenade! Number 18. Surprisingly, there's a lot of things that do fire damage as Gunner. There's the incendiary, as I just showed you, but your minigun and hurricane can both do fire damage with the right modifications. 
which will insta-kill robots if they're set ablaze, maybe bring more fire damage into an industrial sabotage mission. Number 19, your auto cannon and rocket system will do damage through armor. It won't do as much as hitting the weak point, but it will still help. Number 20, your weapons that can mine out terrain are really good at dealing with the laser crystals during escort missions. Number 21, your shields are especially valuable during salvage missions, as you won't have any major escape options. I always see gunners failing to use their shields correctly, and sometimes I don't use them effectively myself. Number 22, be careful with your grenades. They can do a lot of friendly fire damage if you're not careful. Number 23, this is kind of high skill, but it might be worth it to separate from your team in some situations to make the pathing of the bugs more predictable. They only have one target in this case, you. This will allow you to focus on the swarm really well, and help divert attention away from your teammates. Number 24. Unless you have the tier 5 upgrade for overheating, the one that like makes your gun explode or whatever, not important, don't overheat with your gun. Instead, just wait a little bit and then keep shooting. This works really well with bee hopping since you're already pausing your shooting anyways. Number 25. Suggested by Cookie Cutter 0939 shoot bugs until they die. That's it for 25 tips for Gunner. If I got anything wrong, be sure to comment it, and I will document it all in a pinned comment. Like my videos if you like them. If you don't like them, tell me how they're bad so I can improve them. Comment if you wanna, comment, and share if you wanna share. If you want to talk to me personally, join the Discord server. Goodbye! Enjoy the outtake. Hey, did you know that only 2.4% of my subscribers are subscribed? So, make sure to hit that bell, guys! This part of the video's not going in!